Hi, Hi guys. guys. My name is Debbie. And I'm Paul, pastor of the Haven Church in New Jersey. We're so glad you're here. At the Haven, we believe that we exist to create a safe haven for people to experience Jesus. Now our team has put together these videos, the planning, the production, for one purpose, to meet you where you are, to help you on your spiritual journey, to bring encouragement and strength, and, and maybe just inspire you to keep your eyes on the Lord as you walk through the challenges of your life. Now these are meant to be supplemental to your personal relationship with God day by day, but of course it's very important that you join a church, a local church, according to scripture. If you live in the New Jersey area and would like to be part of the Haven Church, be sure to check the links below so that we can connect with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you never miss a weekly video of worship and encouragement. Once again, we are so glad you're here. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey, Haven family, Haven friends. I am Paul, pastor of the Haven Church, and welcome to a, a very special time together. Literally, welcome into my home. And uh, I have my friend and brother with me at the table, Pastor Bob Santilli. Bob, thanks for coming, man. Glad to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to have you. When we were talking about doing this, something special, you said you'd never actually done a, a sermon from a dining room table. Yeah, and what a great idea it is. I love it. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, we're just going to enjoy yeah. ourselves and walk through this and, uh, you know, invite you in in every way possible just to, just to kind of learn and grow and draw a little closer to each other and also to the Lord through this time together. Yes. We're just going to chat about some things and you're invited to, uh, to kind of listen in. So... Uh, we want, we're going on the subject of more than gratitude. We're in the Thanksgiving season. Obviously, it's Thanksgiving weekend. And, uh, you know, obviously, thanks and, and, and being grateful to God is, is, is the center of it. And uh, we, we highlight that this time of the year. But on many levels, I feel like it, it goes even deeper, more, more than gratitude. So uh, one of the things that's beautiful about this time of the year, by the way, m my favorite holiday. I, I love really? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wow. Besides my birthday. Ah. which, you know, it's not a national holiday, but it's still very special. But I, I thank you for that laugh from the audience. I, I really <laughs> do. I love Thanksgiving because it's not as commercialized. You know, we're not putting lights out and whatever, whatever. Those are fine. But this one seems to be a little more uh, maybe organic, a little more pure. But um, uh, I love the fact that there's so many traditions mm. associated with, with Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, matter of fact, sitting at this table, the plates that we're going to eat off of later, uh, that you can't watch. But uh, ah, sorry. <laughs> these plates are actually, uh, they were my mom's. And mm. growing up, uh, we had these every Thanksgiving. Uh, so uh, she, would, she would bring these out. And it was just, just even looking at these as Debbie was setting the table mm. and unpacking, it kind of brought this wow. really warm feeling because yeah. the association of seeing these only one time of the year through all my childhood and even my, my adult years wow. while, while mom would have Thanksgiving meal, yeah. uh, they were not expensive and yet they're priceless. Yes, yes. Because of what they represent. Yes. They're beautiful. They're really beautiful. Did, uh, did you have uh, tradition? Your, yeah, your well, you know, I, my tra sense of tradition it has to do with food. I'm, I'm, I love food, as we all do. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and, um, you know, in, in my family, Thanksgiving dinner, uh, that's why I liked all holidays equally. Uh, the food was abundant and plentiful. We'd all get together, kids' table in my aunt's house, yes. you know, and they would bring out the antipasto first, then they would make the, the pasta. Yeah. And then they bring out the gravy meat, yeah. you know, the meatballs and the sausage and the brajol. Yeah. Then they would bring out the turkey after uh, that. Yeah, right. With all the, all the trimmings. Got it. And we'd sit around the table for like six hours eating. Um, and it was wonderful, you Beautiful. know. But that's the tradition we had. Just be it. together for a long time. Yes. Eating. Yes. Talking, laughing. Yes. That kind of thing. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the foundation, the origins of this holiday have to do with just that, with, with food. And uh, I figured maybe because I'm a guy that loves to give it context, whether it's in Scripture, you know, Old Testament, New Testament, the background, so that we can, mm. we can understand why it was said, who it was said to. I love that. But I think also even on this celebration weekend of Thanksgiving, I want to go into a, just a little bit of the historical context because many folks may be uninformed or, or misinformed or, or just forgot. Yes. But yes. It, it starts actually back in September of 1620. And a, a group of, of folks that uh, valued their religious freedom and didn't feel they could get the full expression in England, in Plymouth, England, they got on a boat called the Mayflower. 
102 of these people got on, families, women, children, their, their provisions, and they set sail for across the ocean to, to the land of plenty, to the land of opportunity, to America. 66 days they were on the Mayflower, crossing mm. the ocean. Wow. Now, a few years ago, Debbie and I went to Plymouth, Massachusetts, which is the place where they landed and settled. And among the many things there, historically, they have the replica of the Mayflower, and we did the tour. Oh, wow. This was not a cruise ship. <laughs> this, I'm telling you, claustrophobia, mm. walking through there, imagining over a hundred people, imagining children in this very closed in area, how mm. it just must have been awful. Mm. And they did it so that they could worship God in total freedom and independence. Mm. So after they land, they eventually find their way to what become known as Plymouth, Massachusetts. They use the same name and they begin to settle. Now, because of the squalor, because of the conditions, Bob, uh, the historic records show that less than half the people that got on that boat got off that boat. Wow. Just, just perished from disease wow. and, and starvation and various other things. Wow. So less than 50 come into this, this opportunity of promise and they, uh, they begin to forge their, their new life. And they did not know what the, the, the soil was going to be like. They did not really even know totally what the conditions were going to be like. They, they just started out in this, this incredible life's journey. And after a little over one year, in November of 1621, their governor, a man by the name of William Bradford, uh, saw the harvest that they had from their first year of, of planting corn and saw that it was abundantly more than they expected. And he said, we're going to pause. Yes. And we are going to gather and we are going to eat food yes. and we are going to celebrate the goodness of God and give thanks. Mm. But again, more than gratitude, because what they did was, again, beautiful. They invited some of the indigenous people that lived close by, who they had developed some, some friendship with and relationship with the Native Americans, invited them to bring also their bounty and their harvest and maybe the, the meat from their, their recent hunting expeditions. They brought it all together and literally around the same table, mm. they, they, they celebrated with thanks for God's goodness and what he had done. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. And uh, you know, the fact that it was a around a table. Yes. And of course a table, it says so much, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. And what a great picture for us, you know, that diversity of people, yes. accepting yes, people yes, 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 yes. for who they are and welcoming them, yes. you know, is a wonderful example of what a, what a Christian should be anyway. Absolutely. But that's a beautiful picture. Absolutely. Beautiful picture. You know, Bradford could have said, just in your own home today with your own family, give thanks. But he, he took it to that really beautiful next level and said, we're not going to just keep it internally. We're going to make it for our community and those that we've become friends with. Yes. Because that also offers the different perspectives. Everybody had a different year. Everybody experienced different things. So therefore, a time of giving thanks was very unique. Yes, yes. Uh, my, yes. my mom used to always inspire us before we dig in. We had the prayer everybody around the table would have to say something they were thankful ah. for. And it's, a, again, just a, a beautiful tradition. Yeah. Um, and uh, as kids, you know, it, it, it made us stop yes. and remember. Yes. And uh, as a family, it was usually a very moving time yeah. as well. Um, so, you know, I think it's appropriate that we, we do it around the table and, yes. uh, you know, just remember and acknowledge and, and, and look at the, the, the depths of this, this celebration yeah. of Thanksgiving. And, you know, Paul, that's the beautiful thing about uh, growing up in a Christian home, having that uh, focus on God about Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I know in my family it wasn't quite like that. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, my family practiced religion, mm -hmm. uh, but in, our, in those family gatherings and in, in the home, it wasn't a big part of our life. Uh, and it's so important to be a part of life. So for us, it was just kind of a focus on the food, yeah. the fellowship. Yeah. But uh, you said in the very beginning how important it is to remember God, yeah. you know, and give thanks to God. Yes. Uh, and that grat even though it's more than gratitude, it's got to be gratitude. That is. Uh, to God. That, you know? That's and, the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, in, in Deuteronomy 15, I think it is, um, it's in this uh, little Bible of mine. Yes, the, the pocket <laughs> version that you carry the, around. The pocket <laughs> version of my Bible. But, but Moses warns the people that when they get into the land and they have all this bounty, that they not forget God and yeah. say, by the power of my own hand have yeah. I gotten yeah. these things, uh, and not give glory to God. That God 
God will, will, will judge them if they do that. Don't forget God. So that kind of constant reminder, gratitude to God yeah. for what he's done, for what he's given. And going around the table and, yeah. you know, and, and, and saying what you're thankful for is yeah. a wonderful thing yeah, to do. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe inspire someone watching you know, with your family to, uh, to make that part of, you know, I know Thanksgiving when this is being shown has already passed, but uh, you know, just even as a tradition at any time to, to pause and to stop and yeah. to remember. Yeah. Um, I also love, again, with the tradition uh, that, it, that it had to do with, with, with food and sharing of the blessing, mm. um, as we've, we've noted throughout our journey together, that yes. we are both foodies. You know, we have, we have many similarities. Uh, we both grew up part of our life in one of the, the boroughs of New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, you were Brooklyn, I was Staten Island. Uh, you know, we both are of Italian heritage, so there's, there's those oh, blessings, of course, it's okay. Uh, both in the ministry and, of course, our, our, our paths have crossed so beautifully, and you've been yeah. a, a great blessing to me. But, you know, we, we love and we get a kick out of, in every message, somehow you tie in food, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, let me tell you about my pepperoni stuffing. No, I'm only, <laughs> I won't do that now. Wait, do you really put pepperoni in your stuffing? Oh, yeah, I make a pepperoni stuffing that's in high demand. Well, add me to the list of demand because I didn't know you could do that. You could put pepperoni and stuffing. Oh, yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you about the recipe another time. I got it. I got it. <laughs> See, if you want it, it's $100. Just send me a, a money order and I'll get it to you. Yes, yes. Half of the funds go to the Haven Building Fund. Yes, so, sir, certainly. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> well, you know, uh, uh, speaking of food, I, I heard a rumor that I think here and on this video and broadcast we should clear up okay uh -oh. <laughs> right so i'm told because you are such a foodie that at one point in your past in, in history as leading a church that you were not only known as pastor bob but you were known as pasta, pasta bob, bob. <laughs> is pasta bob i actually love that is this true it's true there you it, go it, there it you was go. it was the young people that thought up that name for me that's all i have to say i actually love that you should have business cards yeah pasta bob have pot will travel i love it i love it these days you have to be careful who you say that yeah. to and how so well that's th true that. <laughs> oh yeah no wait have uh, cooking utensils <laughs> Have cooking utensils will travel. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, but you know, Paul, I, you know, I was thinking about uh, what you said, you know, uh, more than gratitude. Yeah. Um, and that um, it's, it's so wonderful to, to give gratitude to God. But um, the, the gratitude is to kind of overflow into our lives, yeah. you know, in our lifestyle. I, uh, I often think of um, maybe a better word for us than thanksgiving is thanks living. Ah. You know, to, to live in I a lifestyle that. of gratitude and the overflow of that. And I was reading in, in Leviticus, of all places. Yeah, wow. Um, in chapter 19, uh, these, uh, these words, uh, it, it had to do with the, the, the harvesting of the fields. Okay. You know, and uh, in those days when, when there were poor people and needy people, they would follow the harvesters and they try to pick up whatever was left behind okay and this is this is the command of god uh i just, I just found this fascinating yeah yeah when you reap the harvest of your land it's by the way this is Levitic, leviticus 19 9 and 10. when you reap the harvest of your land you shall not reap your field right up to the edge uh. You know, in other words, leave, leave some room on the edges. Got Don't it. take it all. Neither shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest. So as the harvesters went by, if they dropped something, they weren't supposed to go back a second time and pick up what was dropped. Um, and you shall not strip your vineyard bare. Neither shall you gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. So okay. if something fell down, they weren't supposed to go and pick it up. And then he says, you shall leave them for the poor and yeah. for the sojourner. Oh. I am the Lord your God. Love you that. know, and so, you know, it's, it's just, I mean, that's a style of life, I think. Just to leave room on the edges, yeah, you know, to, to not use everything up for, for, for me that's and mine, but to, but to have the leftover, you know, for, 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 the, for the sojourner, for the traveler, for the stranger, for the needy, for yeah. the poor. Yeah. It's just so, I think that's, uh, that's living out. 
our thanksgiving to God because He gives us the harvest. Yes, you know He gives us the vi the grapes on the on the vineyard. Yes, yes, on the uh, vines. He is known as the Lord of the harvest. Yes, so you know yes. that's but I, I love the fact that it's the heart of God, knowing the tendency of man, yes. which is a little selfish. Yes, you know. Wait, I'm going to take every. I'm going to make sure I get every little bit. Yeah. But God, knowing our heart, actually makes it a, a command. Yes, it's part of His laws, but it also shows us His heart. Yeah, don't be selfish. And remember, somebody may not have had a bounty season, so you have an opportunity by not gathering it all yes. to uh, to meet their need and to bless them. Yes, and we can we can of course all be challenged yeah. by that. That's yeah. beautiful. I love and, that. And you know, you talk about the the sinful nature of our of our hearts to get it all. I mean, one of my favorite sayings is, you know, when someone's serving like from a, a pan of lasagna, you know, and they take out that piece of yeah, lasagna yeah. and some of the cheese oh, and little gut that falls oh, out. It's yes. left. I, I say, I want that. I want everything that's coming to me. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, in a way, um, uh, everything that comes to us is given by God. Yes. And God wants an overflow of our lives yeah. uh, to others. You know, that kind of generosity. So I think of that as, as the more than gratitude, we see what God has done and we're yes. so thankful, yes. but we want to bless others yes. with what God has given. Yes, yes. So in addition to the gratitude, there is also generosity. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a challenge. Yeah. Um, and again, represented so beautifully in, in the Thanksgiving meal where, you know, yes. in most cases, everybody brings something. Yes. Just like the original one, just yes. like the first one. The Native yes. Americans bring something that, you know, the farmer, the one that had maybe the grace, whatever it was, everybody brings something. Yes. Yes. And that's, a, that's a, a, a beautiful example of community coming together. Yes. And yet so unique this time of the year, but should be more than this time of the yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love yeah. that. Yeah, you remember potluck dinners back in the old church oh, days? Oh yeah, remember that? Oh yeah, I love I love <laughs> potluck dinners. Everybody brings something, yeah. and uh, you know, as as a pastor, I I would take advantage of being a pastor because I'd have to pray before it started. I'd always pray at the start of the line, <laughs> <laughs> so I can be the first one through. Wow! But but you know what you're saying is people come together to share. Yes what they have, yes, you know. Exactly. And there, there, there were always people who would come who didn't have anything that they could bring, but they also partook of the bounty. You know, that's, that's that spirit of community, right? Yes, yes. That community, uh, that spirit of overflow. Right, yeah. right. That's part of what we celebrate yeah. this time yeah. of the year. Yes. You know, so we're a few days in. The weekend is, is quickly going by, but if, you, if you've not taken some time to not only be thankful and grateful with your family, but also to share in the bounty and the blessing. Yeah. Um, we're in such a beautiful time of the year for yeah. that, between Thanksgiving into Christmas, such a beautiful time of, of giving and sharing and, and coming together. Yes. So, you know, we can, uh, we can redeem the times. Yes. You know, we can make up for last time, lost yes. time. We can do better moving forward. Every time we hear our challenge, it's an opportunity yeah. uh, to grow. Uh, where God inspires us and challenges us, yeah. and I, I think that would be—I uh, think that'd be wise for all of us. Yes. What else? Anything else on your heart well, during this time? It, yeah, I, it, just one other thing. You know, I, I was thinking about when Jesus fed the five thousand. Okay. You know, it's a, that's a, a miracle that's in all four gospels. Interestingly yes. enough. Yes. But um, you know, sometimes we think, Lord, you know, there's so much need, and I have. What do I, I, I don't have much to give, and it kind of, it can be a disincentive for giving. Got but it. the thing that, that, I mean, there's so much in that, that miracle of Jesus that's wonderful, but the thing that's wonderful to me in thinking about it here is, is you know, where Jesus in John's Gospel says to Philip, um, um, uh, where are we going to get bread for this? And Philip says a half year's salary yeah. won't be enough to give them a little. And so he says, we're helpless in light of this need. Sometimes we feel like that. Yeah. And along comes Andrew, and he says, uh, it, it's, in, it's in John 6, beginning at verse, verse 14, I think. Well, anyway, it's in John, somewhere. <laughs> okay, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> but uh, it, it, he, he says, we have this little boy. He's got five barley loaves and two fish. And, and they were really, the word for fish is sardines. You know, I mean, yes. scrawny little things. Yeah. Bony little things. Yeah. And, and then he says this, but what is that among so many? Mm. And that's the way we feel sometimes. 
But then Jesus took it, you remember? And, yeah. and he, yeah. he distributed it, and as he distributed it, it multiplied and it grew. And yeah. I always think how in the hands of Jesus, That's it. little becomes much. That's it. You know, so we yeah. could be encouraged, even though we don't have a lot to give, even though the need is great, we could still do whatever God puts in our hand to do, and God will, God will make it grow. God will multiply it. Yes. God will make it happen. Yes, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah Jesus says he, he took it, he blessed it, yeah. he, he broke it, it, and then he multiplied it. Yeah, yeah. Same with our lives. Yeah. Same with what he puts in our lives. We yeah. put it in his hands. Yeah. He blesses it, and, and yeah. we can't even imagine, yeah. you know, the wonderful things he can do with it. Yes. Um, you have something in particular that you're thankful for this, this, uh, this Thanksgiving? Well, I have many, many things. I'm sure. Uh, you know, that I'm thankful for, but... Um, uh, at this uh, slightly advanced age, come on, <laughs> I am thankful for the ability to be up and around and ministering and sharing and talking Great. and being with people and having yes. this opportunity, yeah. you know, to be together yeah. and have this time with yeah. all of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're blessed and we're yeah. grateful too. You've been a huge impact. You've had a huge impact on my life, my ministry. Been a tremendous resource Thank and. God. Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt that we almost always meet over food. So there's that, you know, that always seems to tie in, doesn't it? Sure does. Somehow. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, this has gone so well that maybe you could start a new career. Ooh, so you, you could go and com combine restaurant reviews with a message while wow. you're at the table. So you go to a restaurant, you eat their food, you do the review, and then you film your message. So you wow. could... Best of both worlds. Uh, I'm accepting sponsors. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's a great idea. There you go. You know, again, I want a piece of the action. Just cut me in. I even needs funds. All right. I'm just going to say that. Uh, well, of course, you know, my heart just filled with gratitude. The amazing timing of God that right before Thanksgiving, just a week and a half before, we, we purchase and move into our new, our new home. What you a know? miracle of Incredible God's miracle. provision. Yeah. Hallelujah. Incredible yeah. miracle. Yeah, so there's, there's not only excitement and joy, but there is such a depth of gratitude uh, from this pastor and among the Haven Church. Amen. You know? So yes. uh, we're looking forward to what's ahead. It's not the end, it's a beginning, but that's, that's definitely on the top of my list of what I'm <laughs> oh, thankful yes. for. Oh, yes, oh, yes. So let me wrap up with this. Just a couple of verses out of Psalm 136. And it doesn't even say this is a Psalm of Thanksgiving per se. In other words, like only read this on the holiday. It seems to be that way. Um, and it's, it's used a lot. I know growing up, I heard these verses, but it, it's, the challenge is really not just for the weekend or the time of celebrating the holiday, but, but for our whole lives, as you said, thanks living. So let me read a few verses. And it's, it's written in a very unique style where the psalmist would declare something and it was as though the congregation was to mm. come back with the next line. Mm. So he starts by saying, Psalm 136, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And the congregation was to respond, his Safe. faithful love endures, endures forever. forever. And verse two, give thanks to, God, to the God of gods. And you let that sink in and then the congregation was to come back and say, his, his faithful, faithful love endures, endures forever. forever. Verse 3, give thanks to the Lord of lords. And they would say back, his, his faithful, faithful love endures, endures forever. forever. And then if you skip way down, because in between there's some specific testimonies of what God had done for Israel and their history and their past. And they, they, they just recalled it and gave thanks. And then verse 25, I love this. He says, he gives food to every living thing. So again, he brings it back <laughs> yes. to food. Bob, I love yes, it. Yes. And you know, with a tear in our eye, we could say his, his faithful, faithful love. love. Endures, endures forever. forever. And then it ends this way. Give thanks to the God of heaven, the one who sees it all, is, is, is high and lifted up, but looks down and condescends into our world. Give thanks to that God at this very moment. And the response should be, His, His faithful, faithful love, love endures, endures forever. forever. So we give thanks with you. We give thanks together. Yes. I appreciate you making time in the Thank busy you, holiday brother. season to, to come and be around this table. And uh, once the, the cameras stop and the videoing stops, our, our, your wife and my wife and some other family members are going to join us at this table. And we're going to enjoy some Thanksgiving food off of the, the plates wow. I grew up eating off of. A, wow. uh, just very, very special time together. And we're going to make it significant. And, and I just encourage you in this, in this time, in this season. 
be thankful, uh, yes. be generous, uh, invite people yes. into your world, into your life, into your home. And, and let's make this about much more than gratitude. And uh, God yes. will bless us for it. Let me pray as we close. Now, as a matter of fact, you pray, Pastor Yes. Bob. Uh, Father God, how we thank you for the greatness of your love for us oh, in yes. Jesus. Thank you that you have accepted us because of Calvary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you open wide your arms uh, and you receive us uh, as your dear children. What Thank a privilege you, is ours. And Lord, we would say how wonderful it is that your faithful love yes. endures forever. forever. And thank you that nothing can ever separate us mm -hmm. from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. How thankful we are, Lord, yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Hey, I love you, man. God bless you, Thanks for being here. Oh, All right. No, we're good. We're good. We'll see you soon. We're so glad you joined us tonight. If you want to stay connected to what's going on at The Haven, the best thing to do is follow us on social media or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post videos every week as a way to encourage you on your journey. So stay connected with us. Since it was just Thanksgiving on the topic of giving, if The Haven has blessed you in any way, would you consider making a donation to help us do what we do? You can give through our website, our app, or contact us and we'll tell you how. But the giving that you provide allows us to have live services, community events, produce our YouTube videos, pay our staff, so any donation is appreciated. We pray you were able to experience Jesus tonight and feel his love and his presence from wherever you are watching. We will see you all very soon in our New Haven home. And remember, you belong.